Hey friends, welcome back to another hair tutorial here on my channel, Putting Up With The Pompons. I am Shantae, and if you are new to our channel, let me remind you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. We would love to have you. It's all of my returning subscribers. Hey, bestie. Hey, mama. Hey, friend. Hope you are being blessed and safe as always. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight into this. So in this video, I want to give like a weekly update of a wash and go that I'm performing on myself, and this is a first time time try for me okay i am not a fan of wash and goes but after this yeah they have become my go-to now so let's go ahead and talk product real quick so i'm going in my hair is freshly washed i'm going in with the textured id coils daily moisturizing i love this stuff it's thick and luxurious it makes softens the hair so i can go in and perform my detangling and then i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of extra moisture because it's winter time it's kind of dry out there i'm going in with the camille rose honey leave-in now this a little goes a long way you do not need a lot for this stuff okay so i'm sectioning off within my section work in small sections and that is key and I'm detangling using my tangle teaser and then I'm gonna go in with some foam honey I know foam so I'm going in with the texture ID this is their original brand and this is a thermal protectant which is what I love most about it and then it's a very thick and creamy foam like it's not watery like that lot of body and don't get me wrong I love my lot of body but she don't perform like this texture ID so my first section I went in like with two to three pumps of foam that that was not necessary one pump of this foam will do the entire section and some okay so a little goes a long way with the foam as well and then I just rake it through kind of play with it to get my coils popping the way I would like to see them make sure I got that definition and then I was a little curious that the foam might be a little too light for my hair. So I also went in with a lightweight gel. And this is the Blue Magic Curl Activator. It doesn't flake and it leaves your hair super soft and not crunchy. Okay? Because that was the reason why I picked up the phone in the first place. I didn't want my hair to be crunchy after I performed my wash and go. So just work in sections. Take your time. And then I wanted to slow it down and do a close up for you guys. So you can see this foam in action. Okay? Because literally one pump. And I don't even think I did a full pump. I think I did like half of a pump. Because that is just how well this foam works. Now the thermal protection. We're going to get into that later because we're gonna diffuse this okay so that's the reason why you want a a product that is a heat protectant okay and just look at them coils look at them curls they coming through they shining so here we go with the blow dryer I have it on high heat okay I have low porosity hair so what that means is my cuticle strands my hair strands do not absorb the product as they should the product kind of just sits on top and sometimes you need that heat to kind of open up those cuticles so with the blow dryer being on high heat it's going to help my hair absorb all of that and as you can see the product's going from like white and then you'll see that it'll slowly start you know kind of absorbing into those cuticles and look at the bounce the shine the coils the definition it is giving All right, so I just want to take a minute and pause real quick um, <clears throat> just to talk about the process so far. So this was all trial and error. Like I've never really used this combination of hair products before and I don't tend to do a whole lot of wash and goes on my hair because I usually end up hating them. But this looks good. <laughs> this looks good. I just wanted to pause and admire how this really looks good. Like I love how I have this nice spiral of definition at the end and I still have my volume at the root. Like, and we see a total difference between the definition, the elongation, and the shine. You can see the shrinkage back here is like one inch versus the shrink up here is only three inches. So big difference, you know, in my curls. My curls are a lot more kinkier in the back than they are in the front. Back to the video, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. When I come back, my face will be done. Hair will be done. We'll be back. All right, y'all, so this is the completed look. This is completely dry. My hair is completely dry. It's not still damp or anything like that, so I don't want you to think like it's gonna shrink up a little bit more. No, this, this, this is it. Uh, yeah, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I am obsessed. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I finally had a successful 
wash and go and those products together was trial and error like i i did not know what i was doing but the results are amazing okay i don't have any like product build up or you know kick back like a bunch of like white productness going in so you know that lets me know that my hair did you know take in most of the product I did say i want to go through the process of having my wash and go and how i take care of it i just want to give you the full view of what these products are going to do long term and all that good stuff because we already know that short term like day one is a one all right, so after I re finish recording that first half, I am now getting ready for bed. I'm gonna wipe off my face. And for my nighttime routine, and this is what I will be doing every night, I just took two silk scrunchies and made two little puffs, and that was it. Cleaning up my face, and I will put a silk bonnet on, and boom, done. Five minute bedtime routine, perfect for a busy mom. All right, so this is day two, the next morning, and this is just what I'm doing to refresh that fro, that wash and go, and we out the door. And I'm always running late for work in the morning, so I, I need a five minute and done, if less, to get ready. And this literally took me like five minutes. I shook it loose, I played around with it, got my curls where I wanted it, I didn't do any pre-stretching. This was it, and I was out the door. Yeah, look at her. She looks so healthy. I like her. I like it. I like it. So I almost put her in a high puff. By day five, I probably, it, it'll be the weekend, so I probably won't be doing much of anything. But I'll let y'all see what day five looks like. So, yep, day three journey. We're getting there. We're looking cute. All right, y'all. So this is day four hair. <clears throat> day four. Um, I don't think I can no longer wear it in my, you know, like this. I mean, I probably could, but I'm not going to. So I'm probably going to do a natural um, updo hairstyle, something of the sorts, because I also don't want to like put in a regular ass puff either. Like we got a good four or at least three, we got at least three days of wearing it, you know, just, which was actually like very refreshing just wear it just like that like no gelling down my edges and I hate gelling down my edges like nothing like over the top I literally took out my scrunchies shook it loose you know played with it to shape it a little bit and then was out the door it was a very carefree three days and I've seen a lot more wash and goes featured um here on my channel as my hair continues to grow so uh, thank you guys for joining us on another one I hope this was helpful so you can see like my nighttime routine the day-to-day -day routine of having a wash and go and like how long it actually lasts because some people just give us a guesstimate and you know I want to be like a realistic as realistic as possible when it comes to wash and goes thank you guys for joining us on another video we will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe